All right, let's play another um, Name That Pro. Who's this guy? I know who it is, but I ain't telling you. <laughs> now, let's take a look at this backswing. Maron. Now, you know, a lot of these players, which is why you see ups and downs, you know, they have a bad year, good year. They don't necessarily swing the club all the time. This is how he was swinging the club at this particular point in time. And we don't know how well he was playing at that time. And if he's, you know, working the compensation real well, it won't matter. But let me tell you something. That is not a good neighborhood. Santa Claus don't even want to go to that neighborhood to drop off the presents. Man. Hmm. Huh? Look at that. Look at the where that look, look look at where that golf club is. He's got to catch it in the heel, which he does. Now the one big advantage is he does keep that club inside. See, he's coming from the inside of anything over a little too much. And watch, bang, has to catch in the heel. There you go. See, a little bit in the heel, not a whole lot, but enough because he's got it laid off right there in the hand. See, bang. So he's going to expose the heel first. Then he throws the club over, extends beautifully. I mean, you can't extend any better than that. See, so he does such a good job from there to there to there that he probably overcomes there. Because that ain't the place to be. Let me tell you. You don't want to be there. Let me see if I have him. I'm certain I do. From the front. Here he is from the front. Must be the same day or he only owns one set of clothes. <laughs> Let's look at it from the front. That might have been the driving range warming up. Here he is out on the golf course. Now he's going to take it back. See that? That's what saves him. Right there, that saves him. Look how beautifully he stays behind that ball. He doesn't move one iota forward. That's what you see from this side right here. See, that's what it looks like from this side. See, now watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Look, tell me that ball's not right on the heel. Hmm? Huh? Right on the heel. Over she goes. And now he releases and goes to his left foot. He lets the club take him to the finish. Fully extended, beautifully extended. Boy, he does such a good job right there. You can tell he's a pretty big kid, so he's got to knock the snot out of it. And that helps a lot. All right? But I really would question where he puts the golf club right there. Now, it might be he can't change that. It might be he's been doing that all his life. I don't know. I have to find another picture or look at it. It might be he got into this habit because he was trying to do something. And now he's sorry he did, and he's got to get it out of his system. You know, different things happen to different players. They, they, you know, sometimes I guess it's just out of boredom. They try something different. Maybe he felt like he'd get around himself a little more, and that would give him some more power. But see, even though he is chesty coming down, his hips stay with the chest. He gets it from the inside, so he pulls it off. See, he stays so far behind it. If you say to me, well, geez, Lopez, you give me a hard time about me turning my chest, I say, yeah, but you know what? We don't see you tilted that much at impact. That makes a big difference. You're turning your chest and most likely heading in this direction at the same time. That's a recipe for failure. All right? So see if you can name this pro. If you can, send me an email right away, Bobby Lopez at quickfixgolf.com. And uh, we'll get you a prize. If you're from out of town, we'll get you a different prize. But here locally in Richmond, you'll get a dozen of the Gamer three-piece V2 golf balls. BobbyLopezGolf.com